Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a video that's going to be about a video. Last night I uploaded a video, it was Sunday Night Nightcap 88 Part 2. Normally, when I put a video up, I sit and watch it all the way through before I let it go live to make sure there's no glitches and it works alright. Yesterday, I was very busy with a barbecue and I just pressed upload and let it go. It wasn't until this morning and I started to read some of the comments. And then I watched the video and what I've done, I've uploaded the unedited version. Unfortunately this contains some bad language which I try not to use on my videos. Simply because my grandchildren watch it and all their friends watch it and it's just not good. There's also loads of bits of video clip in there uh, that I wouldn't normally upload. By the time I realised what I'd done, it already had 2,500 hits. So it's, it's too late to pull it down. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload the edited version now and you'll be able to see the difference between a raw video and what you can get away with when you edit it or you can make things appear to be different to what they are in the real world. I've got a break right here, belong to a friend. In fact I've got two of them. He wants to send that whole ball and out to 70 mil. Sixty-three and a half at the minute. He wants that out to seventy. Now what I have got is a piece of seventy mil stock, so I can use that as a gauge to get the hole the right size. He also wants these holes taken out to fifteen mil. Simple enough. I've got a fifteen mil drill. I mounted in the four jaw, chuck on the lathe. It'll go in the lathe just. It's about the limit of what I can actually get into this lathe without taking the gap out of the bed. This is made of cast iron, I do it like machining cast iron, it's horrible stuff. Uh, so I'll be machining this, the lathe wants cleaning anyway, so I'll get this machine and give the lathe a good, a good cleaning. Normally I will turn the, turn the jaws round on the vise and grip it on the outside, on that face. If I do that, the chuck jaws will hit the of the lathe so what I'll do I'll hold it on that face there and machine from the inside or we'll turn the jaws round on the chuck That's 150 mil across. That's the face we're gonna, area we're going to grip on. If you notice on the on the chuck body, it's got concentric rings all the way around. They're not there to make it look pretty. They're there to help you set the chuck up. So I'm looking at 150 mil. So that's roughly 150 mil. There, and you can see the edge of the the jaw, see so where the edge of his jaw is. So if we set all four to the same place, which is just inside that ring there, so just above 150, just above 150. Straight away you can see we're not, not looking too bad. The important thing is that face there. That's the bit we've got to get running through. Right, it's got about 25 thou, 30 thou run out. Uh, we've got it now within a, a thou, a thou and a half. The trouble is the hole's not 
completely round, it's not giving a true reading. But what it's got to do, it's certainly near enough. Right, I've got this set up with just enough overhang on the tool and it goes through to get a full cut and the disc is just clearing the tool post right that's looking straight down you can see how close we're going to be going to the we've got clearance there just enough which is This is actually 11 and a half inches in diameter and I can get it in I could probably get another quarter of an inch, another half an inch probably get a 12 inch diameter disc in here without having to take the the gap piece out of the bed which is very good But the nails run fairly slow Taking cut and ragger written. Go from there. finish on there. You can use a snap gauge to get a measurement on it. I get that at 64 We'll need 70 so I want 3 mil taken out of it. We'll take two of it and measure it again. A little bit faster now. Another measure. We're at 69.8, so we're nearly there. I'll we'll take one more spring cut. That's just about in. Fanny's here. Bollocks. 
is the job for audit. So we reach inside with a tool and clean the clean that inside edge up. as well Just using the snap gauge to get the size and then using the vernier on top of the snap gauge. I haven't got a metric mic that big. Uh, I could have converted it to imperial, but we've got it anyway. That's that's a nice fit in there. All it does is make sure the disc running nice and true. More for balance than anything else. Perfect door. Oh. Deal stock center in one of the holes. Tighten your clamp bolt up, and that's it. Very simple, very quick. That's spot on. Drill one hole. It takes a bit of time swapping the tool around to do which one in turn, but it's once you get the, the swing of it, it's fairly quick. Cast in, you normally cut dry because it's sort of self lubricating. Simple as that. Swap that round, put the centre in, do the next one. I'll show a couple of items I bought at the car boot sale yesterday morning. First thing was a thread file. I did a video uh, showing the use of a thread file on a BMW half shaft, but I'd lost the, I lost the bits of video, so I didn't actually show the application of the thread file. I'll do a little bit and show you how that works. People are coming to my workshop and the first thing they see is, I thought it was bigger. I wish it was bigger. So if space for me is a premium, I bought something at the boot sale yesterday morning, which is going to help immensely with space in my little shop. This is what I bought, it's a nice little cabinet, it's actually on wheels. Very, very strongly made, not the normal flimsy rubbish. It's got some nice shelves in there. It's got storage compartments on both ends. The beauty about it is, it's on wheels so it will go away in that corner when not in use. I'm going to put my little tool cutter grinder on top of here, which means I can push it out the doorway when I'm grinding tools. There's also an ID place in there for keeping dividing heads of the heavy items. I'll have to make some, make a lock mechanism for a, a couple of bars on to keep the doors shut. Anyway, very pleased with that. Thanks once again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I really hope I didn't upset anybody with my use of bad language in last night's video. Seeing that the amount of hits it's had, people seem to enjoy it. Thanks very much.